Hey y'all, it's time for some midday manna. We doing the word of the day in an easy way. So real quick today, we're going to talk about Terah. Terah was Abraham's father. And what we're going to talk about in this scripture is how sometimes we let hurt, pain, anger, fear, doubt, whatever, stop us from getting to the promised land and somebody else get our blessing. Because one thing about God is if you don't do it, he's going to find somebody else to do it and they're going to get your blessing. So let's talk about um, Terah. Terah was Abraham's father. So the Bible doesn't specifically say it, but if you read the way it flows, it kind of, you kind of feel like this is what happened. So Terah, Abraham's father, he was gone with his sons, Abraham and his brothers and Lot and daughter-in-law and just family. He was leaving. Um, but before all of this, one of his sons died, Haran. And it, and the Bible kind of it doesn't say it specifically how old he was, but you kind of you kind of see that he was young because Terah was still alive. And it, and it says um, while his father was still alive, Haran died. So he was pretty young, you know, to 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 die, you know, because the Bible everybody live long. So if he died and his father was still alive, he died young, and that kind of you know, to lose a child, it bothered Tara. So after his son died, uh, Tara decided to leave. They were going to go to the land of Canaan. So he got his family, he got all the family, gathered everyone, and they were going to go to the land of Canaan. They were headed to go to the land of Canaan. And they, as they were, as they were walking and traveling, they ran into a town called Haran, the exact same name of the son that died. So Tara, instead of continuing on to Canaan, he got caught up in that. He got caught up in that uh, pain. He got caught up in that grief and he stayed there. He stayed there and he did not continue to go on to Canaan. So if you go to the next um, chapter, this is uh, Genesis chapter 11 and 12. So if you go to the next chapter in 12, it then goes to uh, Abram where God calls Abraham. And the one thing he calls Abraham to do is to go Take your family, leave Haran, and go to this land I have promised you. Go take your people to this land. And guess what the land was? The land was Canaan. So, if God is telling the son now to go to Canaan, and you're going to be blessed when you get there, and the father was originally headed there, you think he just made it up on his own? You think he just got up one day and was like, you know what, I'm going to pick up everybody and I'm just going to go to Canaan. Do you think that Terah just got that idea on his own or Abraham, Abraham had to finish God's work that his father didn't do because he got caught up? So that's what I'm saying. Don't let, so Abraham got the blessing. You know, Abraham's the father of many nations. That could have been Terah had he not let, you know, his pain stop him from moving forward. That could have been Terah being the father of nations, being blessed that way, being as blessed as Abraham was. So God, if you don't do it, he will give somebody else your blessing. Because one thing, his word is going to be fulfilled. It's going to be fulfilled. And if you don't do it, he's going to get somebody else to do it. If you close your mouth, he'll make them trees. He'll make them rocks scream out, you know. So let's not let fear, doubt, anger, uh, anxiety, you know, whatever it, whatever it is, whatever your thing is, whatever our thing is, because we all struggle with something that stops us from wanting to move on to that promised land that God has for us, you know, whatever it is, let's not do it. Because if we don't do it, we're going to watch somebody else walk in our blessing. And we're not watching nobody else walk in our blessing because that's ours. So we're going to go out and get it. So you guys... We're going to get our blessings today. We're not going to let nobody get our blessings. So that's it. That's our midday manna. Have a great day.